tradition with a twist. That's the mark of a maker. Welcome back. Look who's in the kitchen. It's only <laughs> Charlo from Charlo the Chef. Dot com. How are you, pal? How's it going, folks? Thanks for having me back. Good. You were a sight for sore eyes and the feeds that you that we've missed as well. The big oh, feeds. Yeah. Okay. Well, look How at are that. you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Yeah, all good. Uh, delighted. We've got the spaghetti carbonara on today. The classic Beautiful. Italian dish. But it's a dish that you know I've been practicing at home and, and the family have really taken to. It was one of the dishes that I probably learned first years and years ago. Yeah. And it was in the locker for years. And then with the lockdown, with the extra time at home, you know, it's just a really classic dish that is. Very little ingredients and it packs just this massive, massive meal punch and it's fantastic. So I decided to bring it into this today. Good on Got you. Got some really, really great ingredients. Um, so what you need for, we'll have the pancetta on at the moment. So pancetta, it's from the pig. It's from the, like, you know, the side of the belly of the pig. I brought some in here, guys. Look at this. Beautiful piece And you can meat. see, yeah, and very important, you can buy this diced, okay? Now we can mm -hmm. use diced smoked bacon as well. You don't have to go with the pancetta if mm -hmm. you find it hard to get it. Mm -hmm. Most supermarkets will have it anyway, diced for you. But I've just brought it in to show you guys. You just take off the rind when you're using it at home. Mm -hmm. But this is, you can see the fat here. This yeah. All the flavour is and all the meat here as well. So I just sliced it, moved it on here. I've sliced it. I have um, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and I have, I'm just going to turn this down now because we're actually at the stage where we've caramelised it, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, take off the gloves, you're handling the raw meat at home. Guys, practice your housekeeping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands, okay? Now, so I'm just going to turn this pan down, okay? So, so we've sort of. fried that off the crisp already. Get exactly, we want to get it to this stage. We have some um, unsalted butter in there as well. Mm -hmm. And um, with the fat coming off as well, I'm just going to drain it a small bit, all right? Yeah. Okay? So we're just going to drain it in here. Because a lot of fat will come from that meat. Exactly, a lot of fat from the meat. And also, we're going to use the fat to make our sauce. So the sauce will come together in a couple of minutes. Okay. But let's talk about the process. Get some boiling water on, salt the water in your boil for, for salt the water into the uh, boiling water. And um, reason to being is that it, it sort of it helps the water to maintain its boiling stage. It also flavours the pasta. Mm -hmm. So we've got some spaghetti in here. We've also got then, um, I brought this on, this is optional, but I really love this at home, you know, with the barbie on, with your char grill on, with a char grill pan on, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of uh, day old bread, so I have a little bit of crostini here, right. okay, a little bit of garlic, just give it a rub, either side, and have it on my char grill pan. Have a know, I've seen panel. chefs do that over the years, you think, that's not going to make any difference at all, rubbing Just the garlic, but it's rub, huge, yeah. isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic, it yeah, it's great fantastic. Fresh. So what we need then, we have some flat leaf parsley, we've got some fresh eggs, we have the pancetta, we have the olive oil, and we have the unsalted butter. Right. Okay. So it's sauce it's, time, it's, baby. It's sauce time, baby. <laughs> so we have. I've just pre-cooked our um, our pasta. Okay. Our spaghetti. Just warm that through. Again, eight minutes in in your pot. Yeah. Mm. Give it a little stir so you don't stick, and just watch it then. You don't need to, you know, chill it down. Just leave it in the pot. So we we're ready to go here. Okay. I've got my crostinis on here, Beautiful. and then if you just have a look at the pancetta here, this is, don't worry that you think it's, you've taken it too far, this is, you want to get the crispy, yeah. crispy is where the flavour is, and at yeah. the bottom of my pan here, you can see all the beautiful caramelised pieces, That's gold, yeah, so you take it to the point of nearly burning it, okay, yeah. exactly, exactly, so we have our pecoroni cheese here, okay, very important, parmesan can be used as well, parmesan is the milk from the cow, and pecoroni is the milk from the sheep, a little bit saltier, but it's fantastic, so I have some grated here, Beauty. Okay, another crack, another an egg in here. So we're going to go with four eggs. In we go. Um, we're going to add a little bit of the cheese. So maybe add two thirds of your cheese in here. And very important, crack black pepper. We, we get a good look, good there. good look of cracked black pepper in here. So the ingredients are very. There's minimal ingredients for an absolutely fantastic dish. We're going to just we combine all this together. Okay. And here's where the magic happens now. Okay. So we have our we have our uh, crostinis. We're happy enough with them. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to switch pans here. We don't throw out, when you strain your pa pasta, don't throw out the water. You'll need this for your sauce. Okay. Because okay. that's packed with flavour. Exactly, exactly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to... Oh, yeah. you got to hear the sizzle. That's fantastic. You get the smells? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We've got, we've got some fresh garlic as well. So what you can do, a little trick, is um, not, not everyone does it, but this is a great, this is a great uh, trick, is that we got to throw in a little two, two cloves of garlic into our pancetta, into the oil. And you're not chopping them around, just straight in? No, straight in. And what we can do then, we just toss it around, and that gives it that, that um, you know, infuses the whole dish. Flavour the oil. We'll, yeah, them. exactly. We'll take them out then, just before service. So, as you can see here now, you see the colour that it's taken, yeah. all right? 
So we're going to get some more pasta. And I've about 500 grams of pasta here. So the recipe um, feeds about four people. Or okay? me and Aiden. Oh, you and Aiden, yeah. A little bit of salt, <laughs> okay? Don't forget your salt. And I'd go another little bit of cracked black pepper in here. Mm -hmm. Now, I just say as well, I was going to mention, when I put up online that I was doing the dish, I got a little goodie selection box from Rapazzo and Braid, an Italian oh, online shop. They asked me to drop down the little selection box ready for me. They had all the ingredients here. Great. It's a really nice touch. Shows that, you know, it's really the community in Braid is really, really Keep strong. it local, keep, Charlo. Keep it local, yeah. Yeah, keep it local. Now, so if you, that's infused with the garlic. We're going to pop out the garlic. Okay, it's done its job. Yeah, and here's where the magic is. We take it off the heat then, folks, okay? So we just absolutely take off your pan off the heat. So I'm just going to turn the heat down here now. Okay. And this is where the magic happens. So we've got to, we've got to store this really quickly. You don't want scrambled egg here, folks, okay? So we've got okay. to store this really quickly. Okay, so we'll take so it off. So is this where it could go wrong? This is where it could go wrong. So what you've got to do, take it off the heat, and as you can see, you're now making this creamy sauce. Oh, and what God. you can do, if you think it's a little bit dry, you add a little bit more sauce in. You've got to work quickly here. And you can see we oh, have this amazing sauce. carbonara sauce. Last thing then is optional as well. A little bit of flat leaf parsley for a little bit of colour. Chop it in. And Simon, I've got to say, Nathan, I've got to say, I've got a friend of mine who emailed me last night or texted me on Facebook, um, Orla. She's uh, watching in from Saudi Arabia with her girlfriends. Can wow. you believe that? And she's Saudi going to be Arabia. trying to Saudi Arabia. Good yeah. morning, Saudi Arabia. What yeah. channel are we on over <laughs> so there? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. But one thing is for sure, they're going to be making the carbonara later on. Happy day. That's it, folks, okay? A little more cracked with pepper. And then we're ready to serve. So beautiful. Just get this up here now. And this is like, I mean, this is amazing. Pop this in the middle of the table. Have your prosciutto yeah. on a plate. A little bit of uh, parmesan cheese. I mean, oh, look, man, at, look at that. And you see the creamy sauce. Again, diced ham is great as well if you have diced ham. Yeah. Now, just a little, par little party piece and here. And that literally was about a minute on the sauce. Absolutely, a minute. A little bit of a party piece <clears throat> here, okay? Oh, yeah. So we're bringing a little bit of the snow today. I know it's raining outside. We're bringing a little bit of the snow. <laughs> and we have our prosciutto. We have our... Beautiful um, crostini. Crostini. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? That is buongiorno, buongiorno, spaghetti, grazie, 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 oh. Charlo. Yeah, and, amazing so, dish. And, and if you look at me, you have to be a bit of posh as well. We get a bit more cracked black pepper and that. But yeah. doesn't that just look and a treat? Forgive me for being Father Dougal for a moment, but there's no cream in that. No, no cream. Right, okay. No cream. So, so it's good for you. Yeah. The, mag the magic is that you, you, you keep, your, keep your water from your pasta. And that keeps that. You have your nice eggs yeah. and your cheese and your cracked black pepper mixed together. Man. Add them in, but yeah. take it off the heat as you add them in. So simple and packs a great, great punch. Job, Hello, Charlo. It's good to have you back. Thanks, if you want to get all the recipe Welcome details, back, they are up the are on our website. Oh, we forgot to ring the bell at the start. The recipe details are on our website. Of course, you can check out Charlo's own website, and that's charlotheshef.com for more of his recipes. Right, up next, there's a doctor in the house. Well, not exactly in this house. He's in his house. Dr. Uh, Alex from Love Island will be chatting to us after the break. Don't go anywhere. See you in a minute. Tradition with a twist. That's the mark of a maker.